एवरी वन दिस इज प्रतिमा एंड वेलकम बैक टू प्लानिट फिजोलॉजी टूडे वी शेल डिस्कस वॉट इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑन फ्रॉक्स कार्डियोग्राम हाउ इज इट रिकॉर्डेड एंड हाउ द ऑब्जर्वेशन आर इंटरप्रिटेटेड वी शेल ऑल्सो स्टडी वॉट आर द क्लिनिकल एप्लीकेशन ऑफ दिस नॉलेज बिफोर यू प्रोसीड आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू काइंडली पॉज द वीडियो एंड रीड द डिस्कलेमर ओके लेट्स बिगिन for recording the effect of temperature on normal cardiogram frog is dissected as usual and mounted on the board ventricle is connected to the starling's heart lever the temperature of ringer's solution is noted by using thermometer and this is the ringer's solution at room temperature which is used to pour on the heart to prevent it from drying now the position of the lever is adjusted and drum is set into motion the normal cardiogram is recorded for sufficient duration this tracing is normal cardiogram recorded at room temperature if you are interested in details of these procedures please refer to my earlier videos in the playlist okay now let's start the effect of warm ringer solution on the cardiogram this can be studied by pouring the warm ringer solution only at the sinus venosus or on the entire heart the temperature of warm ringer solution should be 5 degree celsius more than that of room temperature to study the effect only on the sinus venosus warm ringer is gently poured on the sinus venosus with the help of dropper as you can appreciate here when only the sinus venosus is exposed to the warm ringer heart rate increases but there is no much change in the force of contraction here is another graph recorded by pouring warm ringer on the entire heart usually ringer is poured with the help of dropper on the ventricle which then flows down to the atria and sinus venosus as you can clearly notice now there is increase in heart rate as well as force of contraction let's discuss the physiology behind these changes when only the sinus venosus is exposed to the warm temperature enzymatic activity of the pacemaker cells increases and as a result rate of impulse generation increases which is reflected as increase in heart rate in contrast when the warm ringer is poured on the entire heart heart rate increases due to its effect on the pacemaker cells and force of contraction increases due to increased enzymatic activity of the cardiac muscles also with increase in temperature viscosity of the sarcoplasm decreases and it facilitates sliding of actin filaments over the myosin so due to both these reasons force of contraction increases which is indicated by higher amplitude of the cardiogram these changes are seen only with rise in temperature within the physiological limits if the temperature of ringer solution is increased beyond 45 degrees celsius the muscle proteins get denatured and it results in heat rigor rigor means sustained state of contraction and as this occurs due to heat it is called as heat rigor as denaturation of proteins is permanent chemical change heat rigor is irreversible and hence the ringer solution with temperature greater than 40 degree celsius should not be used during the experiment apart from heat rigor there are two more types of rigors you can find them out and post them in comment section below with their mechanism and whether they are reversible or irreversible okay now let's study effect of cold ringer on frog's heart now again the recording level is adjusted below the warm temperature and the cold ringer the temperature 5 degrees less than room temperature is poured only on the sinus venosus as you can note it decreases heart rate but not the force of contraction this is because temperature changes only at sinus venosus 
which decreases enzymatic activity of the pacemaker cells and hence the rate of impulse generation. Now here is the second graph where cold ringer is added on the entire heart. As you can clearly notice there is decrease in heart rate as well as force of contraction as compared to that of room temperature tracing. This is because with decrease in temperature, enzymatic activity reduces and viscosity of the sarcoplasm increases. As a result, it offers more resistance to the sliding of actin over the myosin filaments. Ok, you might wonder what are these two vertical lines and what is their purpose? Once the recording is completed, the chymograph is brought to the beginning of the record and the lever is moved to mark the line cutting across all the tracing. Then another line is marked in the same way about 5 cm away from the first one. These two markings help to quantify the changes in the heart rate due to changes in the temperature. It can also be used to calculate heart rate under different conditions. Let's see how. So count the number of contractions between these two markings. In the first tracing which is recorded at room temperature there are 12 contractions. In the second tracing which is effect of warm ringer solution there are 21 contractions while in the last tracing with cold ringer it has 8 contractions. This shows that increase in temperature increases heart rate and decrease in temperature decreases heart rate. If you are interested in noting the changes in the actual heart rate, that also can be done. For this, first find out the time taken by the chymograph to complete its one rotation. Say, if 4 minutes are required for one rotation, it means 47 cm distance is covered in 240 seconds because we know that the circumference of the cylinder is 47 cm. From this calculate the time required to move 5 cm distance because the distance between the two markings is 5 cm. Now you get the value approximately 25.5 seconds are required to cover the distance of 5 cm. Now we know that in 25.5 seconds there are 12 beats. So calculate the number of beats in 60 seconds and we get the heart rate as about 29 per minute. In the same way, calculate heart rate for warm and cold ringer. So for this graph, we see that heart rate has increased to 50 beats per minute with warm temperature and reduced to 19 per minute with cold temperature. This knowledge is applied during cardiac surgeries, where by inducing hypothermia or by using ice packs, heart rate is minimized. Even heart can be stopped temporarily by injecting the cold solution rich in potassium. It is called as cardioplegia. In contrast, by noting the increase in pulse rate, degree of fever can be judged. Because with every 1 degree Fahrenheit rise in temperature, heart rate increases by 10 bits per minute. Or for every 1 degree Celsius rise in body temperature, heart rate increases by 18 beats per minute. So that's all about this session. If you have any questions, do post them in the comment section below and I will be happy to answer them. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe it and press the bell icon to stay updated about the latest contents. Do share the video with your friends and colleagues and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Until next time, stay curious, stay inspired and I will catch you in the next video. Once again, thank you for watching.